to the Model Works to the first installment of our airbrush discussion that I told you uh, I was going to to do and uh, and let me start by saying that uh, I, you know I don't know how many parts to this I will I will do or how many installments I will do I don't want to do probably more than two uh, just for the sheer fact that <clears throat> there are a ton of airbrush videos uh, on YouTube, how-to videos uh, from brands to how to disassemble and clean and what's the best, you know, uh, manufacturer to what's the best for you. And what I, I guess basically what I just want to do is just show you some of the guns I use and and this is going to be geared more towards the newer airbrush user the guy that's decided to or girl whichever case may be has decided to step up from from rattle cans and uh, brush painting to using an airbrush and they want to get out in and, and make a, an informed decision uh, but they don't want to get bombarded with all the crap that goes along with buying new things. Now, uh, let me start by saying, first of all, that this is not going to be a bashing of any brand. Uh, this is not going to be a uh, promoting of any, any one brand. Uh, before you on the bench there, there are three different brands. So, you know, and I think those of you guys who are multiple airbrush owners know that there is not just one brand. Now some, some people are pretty brand loyal. Um, having said that, you know, there are uh, numerous guns that do uh, pretty much the same thing. Uh, you don't have to spend $500, let me say by right off the bat. You don't have to spend four hundred dollars, three hundred dollars to get a decent airbrush for you to use. What I want to do first of all in this first video, at least, is to identify or get you to think in your mind what you require of an airbrush. What is your genre of building? What is going to be your genre of building uh, as you move forward and 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 you get better and more experience? What are you going to be doing? Uh, down the road, because an airbrush is a long-term investment. I mean, when it gets right, when you get right down to it, this. Now, uh, when I say that, if you are just now getting into air or thinking about getting into airbrushing or modeling in general, my advice to you would be: don't go out and spend 150 to 200 dollars on an airbrush. There are two schools of thought in that. First of all, a lot of people will tell you don't go the cheap route because you know there are things that can happen. You know the gun can or is more likely, or I say is more likely, the gun is, uh, at least in a lot of people's mind is more likely to to be uh, cheaper quality. Uh, things can go wrong with it. You can get frustrated and just you know say the hell with it. You know I'm not going. I'm not going buy an airbrush, or maybe even you know, turn some people off from modeling in general. But, but if you are just getting started, uh, I would say start at the lower end of the spectrum, and we'll touch on uh, you know a, a gun that, that would probably be uh, best suited for you. If you've already decided that you, you've already bought maybe a, like say a, a Pache starter airbrush that you maybe bought from Hobby Lobby for $25, uh, and you've decided that, look, I like this, I like the airbrushing, I've gotten fairly decent with it, now I want to step up. We'll touch on that as well. From top so, to bottom, these are by brand, and I just picked these out that I've got. That these are the ones I use more than... I've got like two or three others that I don't use that much, so I'm not even going to touch on those. Uh, on top, probably, uh, well, I'll just name them off and then we'll go over them, maybe one by one. Uh, 
this is the uh, Pache uh, Model H. And this particular one has the uh, number five needle nozzle and air cap. A brother to it, the Pache Talon double action. This is single action airbrush, and we'll touch on the difference uh, just for a brief moment. Uh, this is the Master brand. Trigger gun, model G79. Promote this gun as being double action. It is not. Uh, and I'll explain why it is not in, in just a second. Uh, also, Master Brand, this I just got this one actually about two weeks ago and I've really fell in love with it. For 30 bucks, this is a kind of a knockoff of the Iwata uh, M2. Uh, this is gravity feed single action don't find very many of those. The M2 is is pretty much one of the only ones I know of right off the bat that is internal internal mix, gravity feed, and single action. I think Pache has came out with a uh, single action internal mix airbrush, but uh, that's new for this year, I think. I believe it's new for this year. But this is this one in the and the uh, Iwata M2 are uh, probably two of the only ones I know of that are internal mix, gravity feed, and single action all together. And I, I may be wrong if I am. Uh, feel free to chime in in the comments and, and correct me. Uh, big price difference between this one and the Iwata M2. Uh, $200 for the M2. Right at, you can probably get it for $150, $175 on eBay. 30 bucks for this one. Um, in commenting, I would say I did not see the need to give $200 for uh, what I use this for. This is going to be used uh, mainly for primers, base coats, uh, maybe the occasional clear coat job, but very simple to operate, very simple to clean, very simple to take apart. Uh, and uh, we're not going to go into each one of them uh, in detail. Uh, but, uh, the most expensive of the six that are on the table, this is the Iwata HPC Plus, double action. And next door to it is the uh, uh, Neo for Iwata TRN2 trigger gun. Now this is a side feed gun. There's a cup attachment that screws on here. I didn't get it out. Uh, but it screws onto the side and all it is, it just keeps the cup out of your line of sight when you're when you're shooting. Now this is a true double action gun. Uh, and I will show you the difference between these two trigger guns real quickly. On the trigger guns, let me start with those. Now as I said earlier, the Master Airbrush is uh, trigger gun is touted as being a double action airbrush. Now that means that you can control air and paint separately. Uh, you cannot do that with this gun. I'm sorry. Uh, if anyone from Master uh, is watching this, uh, that is not the case. Unless you consider being able to, now it has a trigger stop that lets you adjust the trigger the more you loosen this, the further back the trigger goes. When this is shut all the way down, you cannot. This will not. You can't move this trigger at all. You cannot open. The, you cannot shoot air. You cannot shoot paint. When you open this up, when the trigger will move, air and paint comes out at the same time. Now, if they are considering double action being the fact that this has a MAC valve, which is a micro adjustment control valve, if they are considering when you are spraying and you can uh, adjust this air valve as you shoot, then maybe so. But that, to me, that is, that's fixed dual action, which means you can shoot air and paint, but you also have, you have to take your other hand and adjust the air. That's not, to me, that's not true double action. Double action means you can do both of the same, like, like with this gun, push down for paint, pull, I mean, push down for air, pull back for paint. I don't want to have to use two hands to do, you know, make it a double action. This Neo for Iwata, on the other hand, you can 
this is a true double action gun. When this is shut all the way down to where there is no paint, and I don't have my air hooked When there's no either. paint, this first part of the trigger travel is air. From here to there is strictly air. So in other words, you can open this up, you can pull back to here for air, and then continue on for paint. So you can air, paint, air, paint. You can, shoot, you can turn this all the way down to where you shoot nothing but air. So this is a true double action gun in that you can do both. If you're spraying along, you can you can be spraying, and if you want to stop and kind of air dry, you can just let off and then, or you can just ease down into the air, or you can just pull back into the paint gradually. So true dual action in that you can do both at the same time. Uh, one other thing about the Neo for Awada, this is not, this gun is not, don't be deceived into thinking that this gun is made by Iwata because it is not. This gun is made for Iwata. Uh, there is a company in China that makes this From gun. What I have used of this gun and what I've seen out of this gun, it is an excellent piece of uh, airbrush equipment. It is, the tolerances are tight, it does an excellent job, it is a uh, low pressure is designed to shoot at low pressures, but at the same time it has a 0.5 millimeter needle and it is capable of probably two inch wide patterns down to pencil thin. So uh, definitely a, a gun that, that has more than just you know one purpose. And that uh, each one of these guns uh, pretty much are capable of pretty much the same thing. These are all general purpose guns for the most part. The HP C Plus probably does the best job of super fine lines. Uh, as I said, I don't necessarily have a need for that. I use this gun a lot for my interiors when I'm like masking off panels in, on door panels and I want to do a two-tone interior. I can mask off the panels. Uh, come back in and do fine line or do uh, uh, low pressure, uh, low paint flow, uh, painting around masked off areas. Uh, whereas, uh, you know, I would not want to come in with a trigger gun, like say for this one, you would not want to do graphic work, I guess I should say, with this gun. I'm sure there are probably people that can do it, I'm just not one of them. Now, the Pache H is a single action which means that push down for paint and air, and that's it. That's all you have to do. Down for paint and air, let go to stop. Uh, very simple. Very easy to clean. You know, the Allen screw that comes out, the, the needle comes out, the, the nozzle pops out, you can unscrew this air cap. Uh, each one of these uh, uh, size needles and nozzles have rings around them corresponding with the size. This one has a five, uh, number five set up, which is, has five rings on the uh, on the nozzle and the air cap. And most used gun that I have. Uh, it is a workhorse, all-purpose gun. Uh, I use it from everything from paint, uh, bodies, color coats, top coats. I've used it for primer. Uh, I like it. this is this is my go-to gun for the enamel black of thinner mix paints that I use uh, and the, uh, the Talon it's brother double action brother I guess if you will excellent all-purpose gun double action capable of very small lines uh, also capable of broad two inch uh, spray patterns all-purpose gun double action uh, has kind of an odd needle size it has a 0.38 millimeter needle nozzle set up on it you can you can buy uh, a I believe a 0 0.6 millimeter uh, needle and nozzle come with this uh, come for it made for this as well as I said the HP C plus uh, just a excellent excellent gun capable of small you know tiny tiny fine paint lines and also capable of uh, you know of, of inch and a half broad spray pattern so you know you could uh, you could do you know your 
entire project you know, with this gun. If you, if you All right, this has gone on way, way long, and, and you know, there's a lot to talk about when you get into these type of, uh, of videos with, with each airbrush. And I didn't, I didn't cover each one in, in depth, and, and we'll get in maybe into that in another video or two. And like I said, if you, you guys, guys would like to see uh, a start to finish, like I have a, a couple of scrap bodies I, I practice with, and you would like to see a project started and finished from, from uh, let's say, primer coat to color coat to clear coat uh, using like three different guns from this this batch here or maybe even more uh, and using two or three different kinds of paint just let me know uh, in the comments and I'll uh, I'll try to get that in the works and uh, let you see what is possible and and it doesn't take you know uh, three four hundred dollars to get started in airbrush if you have any questions uh, you know comment and I'll be glad to answer shoot me a PM uh, send, send me an email whatever and all the information is on the tube there all right, for now, I think this will do it. Uh, until I talk to you again, take care of one another. May God bless you and your family. Don't take any crap from anyone. Talk to you soon.